I've spent millions of dollars profitably on Facebook ads over the past four years. But before you can launch your ad campaigns, you need to have your account all set up and ready to go. And in this video, I'll be walking you through the essential setup steps so you can get started with Facebook ads as soon as possible. To start this process, just go to the Meta Business Suite. You've already been in here before when you were posting content on your Facebook and Instagram pages. Once you're in here, you wanna go down and click on settings in the bottom left. Once you're in here, you wanna go down and click on pages. You wanna make sure that your Facebook page is visible in here. If you've already followed the steps on creating your social media pages, which you should have by this point, then it should be visible here. If it isn't, just click add. Press claim an existing Facebook page, type in the page name, select it, and it says it's already in our business portfolio, so we don't need to add it. But if that doesn't appear, you click on next and then confirm, and that will add it into your Meta Business Suite. The next one is your Instagram account. So go down here, see no Instagram accounts added. Click on add, tick the I agree box, and then click claim Instagram account. Once you have signed in to your brand's Instagram account, it's then going to connect it in Meta Business Suite. There we go. The Instagram account has been added. We'll click done. The next step is to create your ad account. This is gonna be the thing that you actually run the ads through. So to go to this, click on ad accounts here on the left, click add, create a new ad account. This is where you wanna name it your brand name. Time zone, select the city that you live in, or if you're selling to a country that you're not living in, select one of the time zones from that country. So for me, we're gonna be selling to people in Australia. So I'm gonna select Adelaide, because that's where I'm from. And then currency, very important. You need to select the currency that you're selling on your store. So for us, we're gonna be selling in Australian dollars. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. It's gonna ask if we wanna continue, say I agree and create ad account. Now it's gonna ask us to add our payment info. So we wanna click on that. Here, you wanna select the location of your business where you're registered. Make sure the currency is correct and the time zone is correct too, and then click next. And this is where you're going to add your business details. Click next, just enter in the details here and then click save. Now the card has been added successfully, we'll click on done. And there we go, we've created our ad account to use for our brand. The next step is to go into our Shopify store and we want to install the Facebook and Instagram app to the store so we can connect it to the things we've just set up in Business Manager. To do that, click on apps, type in Facebook. You see Facebook and Instagram pops up here with the Meta logo, click on that. Install that to your store and then it will ask you for a confirmation, click install. Now that you've added the app to your store, let's follow the rest of the setup instructions. So cookies, accept all. Here, we wanna scroll down to the bottom and under the ads only section, we wanna click get started. We don't need Instagram shop, we don't need anything fancy, we just need to be able to create ads. So click get started. Now we're gonna follow these prompts. First one, connect our Facebook account. This will be your personal account that it connects to. It'll ask us if you wanna continue and we'll say continue. In the business portfolio section, it's gonna ask us to connect one of these. So we're gonna click the one that we set up before with our brand name and click connect. Then this data sharing screen will pop up. We wanna change it to maximum so we collect the most data from our customers and people that visit our website as possible so then we can deliver the ads to the right people. So we're gonna click on that and then click save. There we go. Now it's gonna ask us to create a meta pixel. This is what is used to track when somebody visits your store. It's a little bit of code that gets added to your Shopify store automatically after we do this. And then anybody that visits your website, it's gonna register that and then you can retarget them through Facebook. This is also the thing that knows if your store gets a sale from someone that has clicked on a Facebook ad. And so you can then track and see the results of your ads. We'll click on create new. It's gonna create it right there and then hit confirm. Terms and conditions, tick the box and then click submit for review. When that has been done successfully, you'll see this section that says run ads on Facebook and Instagram and it will say active. There is this section here for Facebook and Instagram shop. You do not need to set this up, just ignore this. Now the one final thing you want to check is go back to your meta business suite and then in this page that we're in before, click on pixels. And then you'll see here that the pixel has been created. So Shopify made it for us and it's added it to our account. To make sure this is connected to the ad account, we wanna click connected assets, hit assign assets, 
and then select the ad account that we created before for the brand and click add and hit done. And then in the people section, we want to click assign people. You want to select yourself and then click manage pixels. This is so you can actually use the pixel. Before you launch your ads, very important to set up the correct columns in your ads manager so you're viewing the correct information when you do launch. To do this, go back to Meta Business Suite, hover over this section here that says All Tools, and then we want to click on Ads Manager that is listed here. When you first open this page, you may see this little pop-up that says, does it focus on politics or advocating for issues of national importance? We say no because Facebook has restrictions around political advertising. And obviously we're not doing any of that. What we need to customize here are the columns that appear. So it's very important that we look at the right numbers when viewing the performance of your ads. Some of these aren't as important in my opinion, but the ones I'm gonna show you to set up are absolutely essential to know those numbers. To customize the columns, you're gonna click on this column button here, scroll down and go to customize columns. I'm going to remove all of the options on the right apart from delivery. Then we're gonna add in amount spent, CPM, CTR, and we're gonna select the link click through rate, click that, CPC, cost per link click. We're gonna do link clicks, tick that. Add to carts, and we're gonna do total. And here on the right, we're just gonna deselect these two extra options, they're not needed. Next one is checkouts initiated, go to total. Also untick those extra boxes. Purchases, go to total. Same thing, untick those boxes. And while we're here, we also wanna click on the box in the cost column for purchases, and that's gonna give us our cost per purchase. And the final one is return on ad spend, purchase ROAS. And we're gonna click on total. We'll scroll down and deselect that extra option. Now here, click save as column preset and just call it freedom and hit apply. So now all your columns have been updated to the ones that we actually need to use when it comes time to launch your campaigns and view the results.